covering the Missouri races for Missouri Attorney General between Republican Josh Hawley and Democrat Teresa Hensley, Secretary of State between Republican Jay Ashcroft and Democrat Robin Smith, and, and Missouri Treasurer between Republican Eric Schmidt and Democrat Judy Baker. As we profile each of the races, we are going for each candidate, we're going to show you the candidate, their website where you can find information on your own, a short biography of the candidate, and finally a commercial for that candidate's campaign. Our first candidate for Missouri Attorney General is Republican Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley was a constitutional attorney who has been to the Supreme Court and won. A native of Lexington, Missouri in rural Lafayette County, Josh Hawley graduated from Rockhurst High School in Kansas City and went on to graduate with honors from Stanford University. He earned his law degree at Yale Law School and served as, Chief Just, or served as clerk to Chief Justice John Roberts at the U.S. Supreme Court. All of this information, as well as more information on the candidate, can be found at his website, joshholly.com. Jefferson City is full of career politicians just climbing the ladder, using one office to get another. I'm Josh Hawley. I think you deserve better. Josh Hawley, a constitutional lawyer. He fought Obama at the Supreme Court and won. Instead of an attorney general who just plays politics, why don't we hire a proven constitutional lawyer, a professional at defending your freedom? That's exactly the kind of attorney general I will be. Josh Hawley, conservative, outsider, attorney general. Our second candidate for Missouri attorney general is Democrat Teresa Hensley. Teresa Hensley's information, bio, and priorities can all be found at her website, TeresaHensley.com. Ms. Hensley grew up in Raymore, Missouri, where her parents and her family still reside. Her husband Kenny, were, her and her husband Kenny were married in 1979 and have one son, Frank, and a daughter-in-law, Heather. In her campaign for Attorney General, Teresa has been endorsed by the Fraternal Order of Police, the prosecuting attorneys of St. Louis and Kansas City, as well as many other prominent institutions in the metro Kansas City area. As prosecutor, I fought for Missourians who needed a voice. The Attorney General's job is to protect our most vulnerable. I'm the one candidate who's done that. Teresa Hensley, 24 years in a courtroom, over 90 child sex abuse convictions, 21 murder cases, 21 convictions, and Teresa Hensley is endorsed by Missouri's FOP. I'm the only candidate with a record of seeking justice above politics. That's the job and why I'm asking to serve as your Attorney General. Up next, we have the race for Missouri Secretary of State. The Democratic representative is Robin Smith. Robin Smith was a news anchor in St. Louis Television for 40 years and a reporter. She was active in her community for decades, and Robin has sub served on dozens of boards to improve the lives of students, mothers, children, minorities, and the elderly. Robin earned her executive master's degree in international business from St. Louis University School of Business and Administration, and also graduated from Lindenwood College with a double major in communication arts and psychology. For this information and more, including her priorities, uh, you can go to Robin Smith's website, www.robinsmith.com. Ladies and gentlemen, during the filming of this mini lesson, there was no current biography video over Robin Smith or her campaign. Thank you. The Republican candidate for Secretary of State is Jay Ashcroft. Jay Ashcroft earned his bachelor and master's degree in engineering management from the University of Missouri Rolla. He later moved to St. Louis and began teaching engineering at St. Louis Community College. Today he works with his father at the Ashcroft Law Firm where he works to help businesses comply with government regulations. You can find out more information about the candidate at his website ashcroftformissouri.com. There was a time when we could believe in our leaders. But unfortunately, these days, we can't trust them anymore. I'm Jay Ashcroft. My values were instilled in me at a young age by my parents. Today, our state desperately needs that type of consistent, conservative leadership again. We need leaders who will defend life and protect our Second Amendment. As Secretary of State, I will keep fighting for voter ID. And I will always stand up for our values. I'm Jay Ashcroft, and I'm asking for your vote. Our next race is for state treasurer. The Democratic candidate for state treasurer is Judy Baker. 
Judy Baker is a mother and a former economics teacher, a business owner, and she believes that she knows what it takes to make a change. She grew up in Columbia, the daughter of a school teacher and a Navy doctor, and has devoted her entire life to improving the quality of Missouri families. Judy believes that investing Missouri's money in Missouri's people is the best way to improve our state's health, families, and communities. You can find out more information about Judy Baker at her website, showmebaker.com. Hi, I'm Judy Baker, and as a pastor's wife and mother of three, I know how hard it is to make ends meet, put three kids through college, and save a bit for the future. But that's not my whole story. I'm also a former state legislator, an economics professor, and small business owner. As your next state treasurer, I will work as hard for your family as I do for mine. I have a plan for family savings accounts, and I will protect Missouri jobs. I'm Judy Baker, and I'd love to have your vote on November the 8th. The Republican candidate for state treasurer is Eric Schmidt. Eric Schmidt has deep roots in Missouri, where his family, sixth generation of farmers, have grown up mostly in rural Missouri area of Tipton, Pilot Grove, Louisiana, and in the outer St. Louis area. Uh, Eric graduated from Truman State University and attended law school at St. Louis University. Eric's son, who is on the autism spectrum, was his biggest inspiration to run for office. You can find out more information about Eric Schmidt at SchmidtForMissouri.com. Eric Schmidt, a leader we can trust to stand up for our conservative values. In Jefferson City, Schmidt fought to cut taxes and shrink the size of government. He's worked to protect the unborn and to hold Planned Parenthood accountable. Schmidt opposed Obama's dangerous deal with Iran and has led the effort to make sure our tax dollars don't support radical Islamic terrorists. Eric Schmidt, the conservative choice for state treasurer. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes mini lesson number two, where we profiled the state races for Missouri Secretary of State, Missouri Treasurer, and Missouri Attorney General. In our next mini lesson, mini lesson number three, we'll be profiling the state races for United States Senator, Lieutenant Governor, and Governor of the State of Missouri. Thank you.